What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your category pages on WooCommerce using Elementor. Now we're going to be creating this page here and this one just has all of my t-shirts and as you can tell I can add the products to my cart and then we're also going to be creating this page as well which is our accessories page and it just has a variation of products here. Now, if you guys do end up finding this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Now, if you guys want to learn how to create these category pages, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard. Go to plugins. Go ahead and click on add new. And then search for Woo Lenter. And that would be with an O. And you're going to want to download this plugin here called WooLenter, WooCommerce Elementor Add-ons Plus Builder. So go ahead and install that. And then activate it. Now from here, we need to make sure that we have our category set up. So go to your products and then uh, go to categories and make sure that you add your categories for your products. As you can tell, if I go to my products here, I've already created my my uh, categories. Now, if you don't know how to create your categories, go ahead and create a product and then go into your product. And then over here on the right side, you'll see a section that says product categories. Now you can go ahead and add a new category or you can select an existing category. And that's how you would go ahead and add your categories. Now all my products already have categories, so I'm all set. So from here, I'm gonna go to pages and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my category page. So go ahead and click on add new. And I'm going to open up another tab here. And I'm going to go ahead and just find my categories. I'm going to go to my products here. Then I'm going to go to categories here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my categories that I want to use. So I'm going to use accessories. That will be one of my uh, first categories. And then I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit with Elementor. Now what I want to do is get all my products that belong to the category in one page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just add my title and uh, go ahead and add one section here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add a, a heading block. And then I'm going to add my title accessories. I'm going to move this to the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my um, section here. And then I'm going to make my I'm going to add a background. I'm going to go ahead and just choose an existing image that I have. Now this part you don't really need to do. Um, this is just so then we have some sort of heading at the top there. And then from here I'm just going to adjust this to cover. I'm going to do no repeat. I'm going to do a scroll. And then I'm going to do a center center. Now I just need to expand my section here. So I'm going to go to layout. Go to height. And then go to minimum height. And I'm going to leave it as is, but I do want to kind of move this, um, kind of want to move this image down a bit. So I'm going to go back to style and then I'm going to go to, into custom on my position and then I'm going to bring this down. Oops, that's the wrong one. It's my Y axis. So let me go, go ahead and put that right back where that was. And then my Y axis, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this maybe to about right here. That's fine. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then I'm going to make this white and I'm going to make this a lot larger. Now the issue here is that we can't really see the text that well. So I want to go ahead and make my image a little darker. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and cl click edit on my section and then I'm going to go into style and go into background overlay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a black um, overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and choose black here and then I'm going to bring this down a bit. I think about 250 would be fine, actually. Or at least close to 50, but that'll work. All right, so now for the most important part, we want to go ahead and add our products. So go ahead and go into your elements and then search for, search for um, product. You can even search for product slider. It might even come up. We can just search for product. Let's see if it pops up here. And go ahead and grab universal product layout. And then just drag that in here or drag that into a section. Okay, so now we have that created on here. 
Now what I want to do is just add some spacing to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my section here. And then I'm going to go into advance. And on my padding, from the top, I'm going to do about 100. And from the bottom, I'm going to do 100. And make sure that's set to pixels. Very important. You don't want to end up on, on a percentage or EM. Okay. So now that we have that set up, we need to just go ahead and add our, our uh, products to the right categories. So go into content and then go into quarry. And we want to go ahead and choose our category. And our category is going to be accessories. And we want to do about as many products as possible. So I'm just going to set it to about 60. And I know that we don't have that many products, but that's just what I'm going to set it to. And we can do a custom order. Let's see if we want to put the most recent, maybe by date. We can even do by title, by comment count, by random, however you would want to do that. And then we can also even set these up as a slide. If you wanted to do a slider, you're able to do that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and just set these to a default. Now, if you do have multiple, if you want to have multiple categories in one, um, in one of these, you can just do tab. And then you can go ahead and add maybe a bunch of other categories and you can do that as well. And then people can just select those around. But for this video, we're going to do one category per page because we're just creating our page categories. All right, so now that we have that done, we can go ahead and check out our content settings. Now we do have some styles that we can choose um, for each content. You're not really going to see much of a, of a difference on here. Maybe you will on yours. I know that this does move around. But at least, at least as far as the current theme that I'm using, which is the Cadence theme, there isn't much of a difference here. And let me go to style one here. And then um, let me make sure that I have this set to the default. So make sure you have that set to default on layout. I accidentally had it on tab, which that's something that I don't want. Now, if I want to hide um, the category, I can do that as well. I think I don't think I'm going to show the category since I mean, we already know what category we're on. So I don't need that inf information there. We can hide the rating in case you have a you're showing your rating. You can even show the product stock progress bar uh, if you wanted to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and remove that as is. That's only if you actually have that set up in your settings. Okay. So now from here, I'm going to go to um, action button settings. Now this part actually honestly is very helpful. This part you will see kind of a difference here. So if we go to style two, you notice that this part will now have a white background. And I feel like that is um, that pops out a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And then we can have a hover as well. So just so if you don't want to have it just pop up right away, you people can and hover over it and just kind of use it. So but I kind of like it how it is. And I kind of want it to be there. And then you can also position it as well. You can have it in the middle. You can have it to the left. You can have it at the bottom. That was something that you wanted to do. I'm going to go ahead and have it to the left to the right. I think that looks perfect. And then you can even show the add to cart button instead. But to be honest, it does not look great. So I'm not going to have that. Then we have our image settings. You can do an image slider so then people can see multiple images if that's something that you wanted to do. I wouldn't really use this too much. I mean, yeah, that depends if you do want to show multiple images. You can do that as well. Just have a gallery tab. But for each one, I only have about one image, so it's not really going to make a big difference. But that is something that you're able to do. And then if you do have your, your uh, timer set up, I'm not really too sure how this one works, to be honest. Um, I did try it out, but it didn't seem to work. So um, there might be an option that they're working on later on. And then from here we have style. So now we can go ahead and stylize this. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you guys how this looks. So now this is looking really good on my website. But and I honestly already like the style. I'm probably not going to change it much, but I'm going to show you guys how you guys can change it so then it can fit your website. So over here we have the overall padding of this. You can go ahead and adjust this, and this will basically give it some spacing all around, as you can tell. I'm going to leave it how it was. Um, I think that's fine. We can also adjust the margin as well. You can expand that. But like I said, I think it's perfect all how it is. Then you can even you can even adjust the, the, pad, the box at the bottom here. You can adjust that padding however you would like. But I, I um, personally, I like how that is. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to default. And then you can add a border. Um, we already have this this uh, this little border, as you can tell. I'm going to go to remove this, actually, because there we go. Now we have the spacing back. I don't want to mess with that too much. So 
we do have this um, little border that you can see here, which makes which makes the box look more visible. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. You can add a background sh shadow if that was something that you wanna do, but the background shadow is already kind of added to this. So now right here we have our background color. Now this, this will end up changing our background color here. Now let's say that uh, we wanted to change this maybe to go more with our website color. Um, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a color that I have here, and then we can go ahead and change the text um, color if you did have a badge on here. This is more of your badge, actually. So let me go ahead and change this to red. You can change this to red. I'm actually going to go over this before I go over this portion here because this is right under that. So you can go ahead and expand your cell badge here. Or and you can change it to whatever color you feel like. Um, I personally think that red, if that was something that you want to do, red does stick out the most. I wouldn't do a really vibrant red. I would maybe do a, I would maybe do a red that kind of looks like this. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter. I like that. I feel like that looks a lot better. But anyway, so we can go ahead and start adjusting our text color here. And that would be set for our category. So we can't really see that. But we can go ahead and change the color here. And our cell. And our regular price as well. And then you can also adjust the, the typography as well so right here this would be set for a category i don't i'm not showing my category so i'm not going to adjust that and then we can go ahead and um, set up our sizing here and we would do the same thing with product price you can adjust the sizing of your font as well and then we do have a hover effect as well as you can tell we can go and adjust this hover effect to go with our website um, that's if you want to have some sort of hover effect i'm going to go ahead and just maybe choose this one here um, and i'm going to just move this background because to be honest, I don't really like that background there. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, revert back to where I was here. Because I kind of like how it was looking before. There we go. I think that looks a lot better. It honestly just looks a lot more clean. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my section again. And the only one I'm going to adjust here is going to be my sell price. So that would be my badge here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot bigger. And maybe just change it to that red that I was talking about. So, and might even bring this up to 20. I think that's fine. And then over here, we can go ahead and adjust this area as well. I'm going to probably do my hover effect here. And I'm going to change this to my well, color that I have on my website here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this color here. So we have that hover effect. There we go. All right, so now that's looking good. Now we just want to go ahead and adjust our um, our buttons right here. So that would be the next one over. You can go ahead and click on that. And then you can go ahead and start adjusting the tooltip. Now the tooltip is basically this hover effect that we have here. So if I were to change this color, you can even change the background of that. Let's say we wanted to make this red. You can go ahead and switch that to red instead. I know that it pops out a lot more. I actually do like the red. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the red instead. Now, of course, I can go ahead and just choose my cut my uh, website color if that's something that I want to do. But I honestly feel like this red pops out a lot more. So I'm going to have to go with the red here. Let me see if I can go back here. And let me just do a little a red color here. There we go. That works a lot better. Okay, and then our tooltip color there. So that's fine. And then over here, we can go ahead and, and set up our, uh, our hover effect. So this hover effect here, I want to go ahead and change it probably to my website color. Now you can do red. It's up to you as well, but I'm going to go ahead and just use my website color. I think that's fine. All right. And I think that's all looking good. Let me go back here to normal. And then I can go ahead and start adjusting this box here. That is something that we're able to do is adjust the box. So um, right here we have background. You can go ahead and start adjusting this box here however you would like. Now I can go ahead and choose my website color and then make sure my color here is set to white. And I can have that instead on white. Now that does look pretty good, but to be honest, I like it how it used to be. I think that looks a lot more cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. The only parts that I do want to adjust here are maybe my prices and my titles here. 
So I'm going to go back up here to style. And then on my product title here, I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Probably about this size. And then my, um, my regular price here. I'm going to go ahead and gray this out a bit more. And then I'm going to do red for my main price. And then I might make that a little bit larger. There we go. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller there. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and click update. And then I'm going to go view this. So now this is looking great. Now I just want to make sure this is all mobile optimized. So I'm going to go into my tablet view and take a look at this and it's looking good. Auto automatically it does optimize very well for mobile. The only issue um, that I'm having is uh, the section here at the top that we need to adjust. So I'm going to go ahead and just adjust this real quick. I'm going to right click it and click edit section. And then I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to make sure this is set to cover and then I'm going to go ahead and go to custom here. Yep. And it's already looking good. So that's good already set to zero and my products are looking good here too. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click on this text here and I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller. Have it about this size here. Okay. And maybe we can go ahead and make our section a little bit, um, at least a height, just a height to maybe be a little bit smaller as well. Okay. I think that's better. Now, if you did want to, now, if you did, this is an option on mobile. If you did want to have two products side by side, you're able to do that as well, but um, it doesn't really look the best in my opinion. So um, I think you're able to do that. I believe so. I know that it has three. Let's see if we can do two. Oh no, it's columns. Okay. So we can set this to three and then let's, okay. So I believe you used to be able to do it, but I don't think you can anymore. Um, you were able to set this up to two instead and it would show two. But for some reason, it's not working there. But that's fine. That still works for me. Okay. Now let's go ahead and inspect this and make sure this is all mobile optimized. So, And it looks like it's all looking good. Perfect. So now we can easily just go on here and add this to our cart. And as you can tell, it will go ahead and start adjusting, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and add this to the rest of our pages. So really simple. What we would do is I'm only going to create about probably one more page. And then I think you guys will kind of get the gist of it of how you would go ahead and do this for, for the rest of the categories. Basically, we're just going to copy that page over and then just change the category name. So what I would do is just go ahead and click on add new. And then I'm going to go grab one of the categories. So I'm going to do um, t shirts would probably be better. I'm going to go grab t shirts. I'm going to add t-shirts there and then I'm going to go ahead and click edit with Elementor and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I'm, I'm editing my accessories page and I'm just going to copy that over. So I'm going to grab this section here, copy it, make sure you copy this blue area here and you copy this, this section and then you're going to paste it right into this box here. Just click paste and then go ahead and grab this entire section where we have our products and make sure you, you click uh, copy on the section here, go back and paste it on this box. And there we have it. Now we just need to go ahead and change the name of this. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to my t-shirts. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and click on this, um, on this element here. And I'm going to go ahead and change my products. So go to quarry, remove accessories, and let's go ahead and search for our other pro other product category, which is t-shirts. And there we have it. And now we're all set. We can just go ahead and um, link this to our uh, menu here and we'll be good to go. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions on this, just feel free to reach out to me, maybe comment down below. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to um, like the video and subscribe, especially liking the video, it just helps out the algorithm so then more people can find this video. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.